All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, and today we have a Civivi, and not only a Civivi, a Civivi that I feel is already one of the best knives that I've had my hands on in 2021. That's right, the Civivi Keen Nader, uh, right here. Uh, you've heard uh, others uh, rave about this knife, and now it's my turn. Uh, I am just blown away by this knife. Um, so, Civivi told us when they created Sincut that Sincut was going to take Civivi's place in the low budget realm and Civivi was going to move up a little closer to we. Um, they've moved up, guys. <laughs> let's just, let's just say it again. It's my opinion, but that's what reviews are. Um, and I love this. Now, I'm going to be reviewing the Civivi Riffle coming up, which is also another one of their new ones, and the Civivi Buttonlock Elementum. Um, and uh, I'll already tell you, um, and you know this, I'm not a Tanto Point guy, and I'm definitely not a recurve Tanto guy, uh, but I love this knife. Uh, it is slicey, uh, it is stabby, and it is unbelievable on the action department and in the aesthetics as well. So let's get started. I've raved enough. This is going to be one of those long reviews if I don't get going. So this uh, comes with the Civivi pouch uh, that, of course, has uh, the cleaning cloth that comes in it uh, and the new sticker, the new uh, Civivi sticker there. Uh, just really, really cool uh, stuff from Civivi. This pouch is really nice padded pouch and really good. So let's let's talk about some specs, guys. So this one is uh, the brown, uh, I think it's burlap micarta, which is what it looks like, at least to me. Um, whoops, it, I bumped the camera. Sorry. You can see now it is not super um, uh, uh, textured. It, it definitely is raised and definitely gives you a Really nice grip, as you can hear, um, and it's just beautiful. I mean, I love that. I'm not uh, super fond of brown in a lot of knives, but this brown um, and this pattern is really, really nice, and I love the grip of it. So uh, there you go with that. So let's go over the specs. So again, uh, the overall length of this knife is 8.2 inches. Uh, the blade length is 3.5, 3.48 to be exact. Uh, the closed length is 4.72 inches uh, and the weight is uh, 3.68 um, so you got a really nice long handle here guys it uh, definitely a four finger grip plenty of room to relax your grip uh, you know even with this you know cut out right here uh, to go around the, the flipper tab I laugh every time it closes because that action is crazy. Now, you guys know, again, it is um, 3.88 ounces, as I said, excuse me, 3.68 if I could read. Um, and you guys know uh, that that's a good range for me, that right right under four ounces, especially for such a big knife. I mean, it's an 8.2 inch knife, not big, but a larger size uh, EDC. Now, I will tell you that blade um, it's not incredibly thick, but it is pretty thick. It is a chunk of steel, which is why it falls so beautifully like that. Now, um, what's another thing I like, guys, about knives? Multiple opening methods. So you have the thumb studs, uh, which work very well. Um, you can see. the, the, the uh, By the way, uh, the detent, I'm not shaking this guy out. It's, whoop, I did it. I shook really hard that last time. But unless you just really shake it, it's not coming out. But you can see when you flip, it just pops out. When you use the thumb stud, it just pops out. And of course, you've seen me brag about this, the middle finger flick with the fuller. Um, and again, I don't even know why I did a little uh, wrist flick there. You don't need to. Uh, you can be as still as you want to be, and this thing will just open. And the closing action is, like I said, unbelievable. Now... Another thing I like about knives is a forward finger choil. And again, done so well. And you got jimping right here. Again, it could be extended just a tiny bit further for me, but it locks you in, guys. This grip is great. It is a very neutral handle. 
Um, but great for me. Some might call that kind of thin uh, as far as the height of that handle, but I dig it. It just locks me in. It's really good. Now that blade steel is a gray stone wash finish uh, on N690. Um, so now what we haven't talked about is the price. So this one is right at $74 is where it looks like it's going to be listed. Again, at the time of posting this video, um, it's about to release. I don't think it's hit a lot of places yet. If I find an active link, uh, I will, but it, they are just releasing these new knives. Um, and so I will look for an active link and uh, put it up hopefully uh, if I can find one. If not, I'll put, put one up that should be active soon. So um, again, just really well done. You got the, the screws are all countersunk. Um, yeah, dead centered. Uh, as far as that goes, and then lockup, um, it is, you know, it's not, uh, you know, it's 20 to 20, maybe 20, 25. Um, so it's not, yeah, I, I wish it was a little further over, but again, uh, it's not going anywhere. It's locked up, stone cold tight. It's not going anywhere. Uh, black liners, as you can see, skeletonized black liners done really well. Cage ball bearings on, on the on the pivot, uh, just really well done. So I do have one minor, oh, by the way, uh, it does have a backspacer, brown backspacer with uh, the lanyard the lanyard post there. We can feed your lanyard through open construction for the most part. I do have one thing. I, I know so many people, and I know a lot of other reviewers just love the Civivi Pocket Clips. Now, I do. Um, it goes in and out of my pocket well. The retention is terrific. Um, nice and deep carry. I mean, even over the top a little bit. Um, I love it. I just, because it's such a narrow handle, this dimension, um, you do feel it in the back of your grip, right, right in here. You do, you do feel it. Um, again, do I call it a hot spot? No, it is definitely not a hot spot, but it, you know, I try to give, uh, things that, that, uh, stand out to me. And that's one, you will feel that pocket clip because it is a little tall. Um, but the reason it works so well is because it's a little tall. So everything is a give and take. And I think that's one I could definitely live with. As a matter of fact, um, I will be, when I turn this back in, by the way, this comes by way of the apex pass around group. I almost forgot to say that. And when this goes back to them, uh, eventually I might look to pick one of these up because I love it. Now, again, you're going to have a little bit of um, fun sharpening that recurve and that compound grind. Um, but I think this is one that, that is worth it. Again, um, I, I'm, you know, I'm not going to give up my review on the riffle, uh, but I may look at that one because that one is equally uh, a, a really great knife uh, as well. Oh, uh, one more thing I didn't really talk about, and we're running long, um, is the jimping on the, on the uh, flipper tab. Nice, low-profile flipper tab. Um, and that jimping at the top just grabs your finger, guys. I'm just dragging my finger across it, and you can see it just flip open. So just a great knife. Again, right at $74. Um, may put it out of some of your uh, price range, but with this Micarta and the, the gray Stonewash N690 blade, I think it's absolutely worth it. So uh, check it out, guys. Uh, be looking for this one and enjoy. So give me your comments. Let me know what you think about this knife and give me a like uh, and uh, hopefully you're subscribed. If you're not, please consider doing so. And guys, thanks so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.